So you might be in a situation where for some reason, live translation just isn't working. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons for the most part. Number one, you have to make sure that your particular iPhone and your iPhone model are compatible with one another. Sometimes the models themselves might have some issues. So you might have to go through and just make sure that within your iPhone that you're using, you're using an iPhone 15 Pro or newer. Make sure that's the case in iPhone 16, iPhone 17, or an iPhone 15 Pro or newer. It has to have Apple intelligence. And you have to make sure you're on iOS 26. So go inside of your iPhone settings like this. Go ahead and make your way over to your general settings right over here. Tap on general. Go ahead and tap on software update. And you wanna go through and make sure you're on iOS 26, the official version. Do not install any of the betas now. There's not really any betas. Go through and install the official version. Now, you will have to use the Translate application in order to get Live Translate. So go through, go into Translate. It's this Translate you know, application that looks like this. Go ahead and open it up. It's gonna tell you some things. It's gonna tell you Auto Translate, all these things. You click on Continue. You can click on whichever option you want here. Now, you will have to go through and also download the, you know, the application. You'll have to go through and basically also make sure you have Apple Intelligence enabled as well. And you might have to go through and manually download some of the, the, the languages. So you might have to go through, click on your settings application right over here. Scroll down until you find the translate option. You can, might have to go down into apps. Go scroll down until you find translate, which should be somewhere. Open up that translate option, that translate button. And you want to go through and download any languages that you might need. You can also open up the on-device mode option. And where it says Apple Intelligence and Siri, you might have to go through and make sure you have these things kind of, you know, enabled as well. If that's still not working, try going through and try restarting your application or restarting your phone. That could be another thing that might end up fixing this problem as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.